at Cloud Analytics. Today, we are going to discuss about one of the cool features in Power BI, which is creating a dynamic X and Y axis with respect to the feature uh, parameters within Power BI. So let's try to understand what this feature is all about, and then we'll quickly try to replicate the scenario in a fresh page. So this particular visual that I have here is now able to dynamically update the values on both my Y axis and also on my X axis. So let's say if I select my category on my X axis, you could see that the category values are now been updated on my visual. Similarly, I could be able to select different metric values to be displaced, uh, displayed against my X axis value. And the X and Y axis labels are also been adjusted accordingly. So this is what we are going to uh, create in this particular video. So let's try to replicate the scenario from the scratch. So I'm going to the new page and uh, what I would try to do is I'll just first demonstrate how uh, it can be created normally. And then we will try to use this uh, parameter feature and incorporate it to make a dynamic visual. So for that, what I would try to do is I'll just bring in a bar chart. So you could select any uh, visual that has uh, both X and Y axis. And here in this particular visual, so let's say that if I would like to display a uh, category and profit. So you see now this particular visual is a uh, fixed uh, data being projected based on my category and profit values displayed on this visual. So in certain scenarios, we might be needed to uh, give that flexibility to the users where they can just uh, switch between different metrics or different uh, dimension values. So in those situations, we would be able to replicate it or achieve that task by making use of this uh, new feature uh, within Power BI through the concept of parameters. So now let's try to create or uh, replicate that within parameters. So let me remove these uh, data points from my visual. So I have my plain visual on my page. And now I'll just go to the modeling tab on the top. And there I see this option called new parameter. So this new parameter we would be using in this particular task. So just click on this drop down next to the new parameter and select the fields parameter. So here I'm trying to create a field parameter because we meet, uh, we need to specify what are the categories that has to be used on my X and Y axis, right? So the fields and the values. So here I'll just call this uh, parameter as X axis new since I've already created for the demonstration earlier. And for this x-axis new, I would now need to select what are those uh, categories that should be fall into the x-axis. So for the x-axis, I'd like to see the uh, customer name, city, and subcategory, and maybe even the ship mode. So that would be my x-axis values with which the user would be able to toggle between the different values. Now there is also another option which says add the slicer to this page enabled. So these values would then be added as a slicer through which the user would have that flexibility to choose the required value being populated on the visual. So I'll leave this box as enabled and I'll just hit on create. All right, now that the X axis uh, parameter is created. Let's try to select a value. So probably I'll just choose subcategory. And now I'll come back to this visual, this visual, and I'll add this particular X axis value. So on this visual, you could see that we have X axis and Y axis. So we need to add this as a data point here. So I'll just select the X axis add data. And this x-axis new parameter is created separately as you could see here. And I just need to go to that x-axis new and select this value. So now that I've added this as a data point on my visual, you could see that since I've selected subcategory from the uh, slicer, 
the subcategory is being displayed on my visual automatically. Now for the second part of this requirement, we would need to create another parameter. So I'll again go back to the modeling tab and select the new parameter and fields. So here I would call this parameter name as y axis new. And here I would again need to select which uh, values needs to be added on my y axis dynamically. So I'll just use my measure values, which is my average quantity, total profit and total sales. And then I'll hit on create. Now I have my other parameter being created and I'll choose the value as total profit by default. And now I'll come back to my visual. I'll just select my visual and add this data point on my visual as well. So on the Y axis, I'll select this add data and go back to my parameter that we've just created Y axis new and select this Y axis new value here. So the moment I select the Y axis new, you could see that the data has been automatically updated and the visual has now been dynamically populating based on my slicer values. So now I can just select which values I'd like to show up on the corresponding visual and the slicer is now uh, making this visual interact dynamically. Okay, so we also can do a couple of uh, modifications like a couple of formatting on this slicers like how you would like to enable the slicer uh, display. So you could choose uh, other options like so I'll just go back to the slicer settings of the x-axis new and here you could see the options that is provided. So by default, it is taking the vertical list, but if you want, you can also change it to tile or uh, the other one, which is a drop down. So whichever suits to your requirement, you could just choose among the values or uh, the options that is provided and enable that onto your raw visual. So this is all about the creating of dynamic X and Y axis with the use of field parameters in Power BI. So if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and drop a comment in the comment section. And please do not forget to subscribe and hit on the bell icon for notifications. Thank you.